Hi viewers, welcome to the channel and to another video. This is the 3D model that I'm going to show you how to draw using FreeCAD's main 3D modeling workbench. It's a simple model, but believe me, it can give you a headache. In this video, you will see how you can make your work on models similar to this easier by using the common tool from Boolean operation of part-time workbench. I hope you like this video. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. And let's go ahead and see how to design the simple 3D model in the part-time workbench of FreeCAD. On the start page of FreeCAD, I will create a new empty FreeCAD file. Pressing this option, I will create a part-time body object on the tree view. And I will create my first sketch on the XY plane, pressing this icon and selecting the plane, XY plane. I am on the sketch workbench now. Here I have the sketch geometries and the sketch constraints here. First, I will select a center rectangle on the sketch geometries. I just click on this arrow and select this option, create center rectangle. And I will create it here on the vertical axis. And I have this. Now I skip this tool and I go to the sketch geometries again and I select cycle. I select art tool and I created this arc here on the vertical axis and next I go to the sketch geometries again and now this time I select create arc by three points and I click on this point and now on this point here and I created this arc and I do the same for these two points here I created this arc now I skip this tool and I zoom in here and I select this line and I delete it uh, next, I select the constraint tangent and I make a this line tangent to this arc, this line to this arc here. Um, the same thing here, this arc with this arc and this arc with this arc here. And I select equal constraint and I make these two arcs here equal. Next, what I will do is to select the dimension tool and start setting the dimensions of this geometry. First, I zoom in here and I click on this line and I set 20 millimeters for this line. Uh, this one here, I set the same distance, 20 millimeters. And this arc here, I will set 200 millimeters for the radius. I have two degrees of freedom now. Next, what I will do is to select this point and this origin axis and set a distance of 60 millimeters. Now I select point tool and I create a point on the vertical axis and I use the constraint constant and I fix this point in this edge, in this geometry here. Now I select the dimension tool and I click on this point and now on this point here and I set a distance of 120 millimeters. And this sketch as you see is full constrained. So I close this sketch and now I will use this to create my first shape. To extrude the sketch, I select the pad tool and jack smear to plane option and then OK. OK, now that I have my first salt, what I will do next is to create a new body. To do that, I press this icon and now I will create a sketch on the YZ plane. So I click on this icon and I select YZ plane here and I switch to the session view now and next I select the rectangle tool I select create rectangle and I created this rectangle as you see here now I select this line here and I delete and now I drag this point to here and first here I will select the dimension tool and click on this line here and I set 20 millimeters for this line and from this point to the vertical axis, I will set 60 millimeters. And I have this as you can see. Now I skip this tool, I drag this line again, and now I select Art tool here. And I create this arc starting from this point to here. Just click off. And now I will go to the sketch of drums again and now this time I select the create arc by three points and now I will create arc here and these two points and I have this. 
Now I select the tangent constraint and I make these two geometries tangent and these two arcs here and now this line with this arc. I will change the geometries, this geometry to construction geometry pressing this icon. And now I select line tool and I created this vertical line. And also I use the dimension tool to set the length of this line here. I will set to 50 millimeters and from this point to the I can select this end point here and set a distance of 120 millimeters like this and now I zoom in here and what I will do now is to drag this arc to here okay first I have to set the dimension of these two geometries here so I select the dimension tool I click on this line here and 20 millimeters okay and this arc here I will constrain to 150 millimeters and now what I will do is use the tangent constraint and constrain this arc with this line here and this sketch is full constrained as you can see now I close this sketch and I will extrude this sketch so I select pet tool and I set symmetric to plane I press ok here and as you can see I have this and my next operation is to create an intersection of these two bodies here. To do that, I'll be using the common feature of Boolean operation. So what I'll do first is to activate this first body here. Double click and now with this body selected, I will click on this icon, Boolean operation. And here I will click on this button and then select this body. And now I change here to this option common and as you can see I have this now I press ok and the way to fix this problem here is to increase the value of the extrusion so first I will go to this pad here go to data and I will change here to 150 millimeters and close the start page and as you can see I have this now I'll go to the boolean operation inside this body here I click on this arrow, I go to this pod here, I click on this arrow and I select this last pad operation here and I change to the same value 150 millimeters. And as you can see, now I have this. And also I will change the radius of this edge here. So I go to the pad operation, I click on its arrow and I double click on this sketch here and what I will change here will be this radius here I will double click here and set to 50 millimeters and then skip two times to leave this sketch and as you can see I have this now that I have this I can create these all operations here so first I will start by creating this fillet here as you see so I go to the document and I select this edge and then fillet tool and I can, for example, change here to 2 millimeters, but I want to stay with 1 millimeter, so I press enter here. And next, I will create pockets on the salt here. I will do that in the YC plane. So I need to create a sketch, and that sketch I can use for the pockets. So I click on the create sketch icon and I select the YC plane for the sketch. I switch to the session view. And first here I will extract the circular edge here. So I click on this icon and I select this edge here. Now I will change to normal geometries here and I will select cycle tool and create a cycle here. The diameter will set to 40 millimeters. And next here I will use a normal arc, create arc by center. I click here on the center point and I created this arc here and the next I created this arc and now I created this arc here this arc geometry and next I will use a line tool to close this geometry skip this tool and now I will and now I selected these two points here these two endpoints and I and I set constant okay and next I use the fillet tool to create a fillet on these two arcs here and in this line and this arc 
as you can see, I have this geometry. And if I change the red figure here, I, now I only need to create a geometry for this pocket here, this hole. So what I will do is to go to the sketch jumps and select slot tool first. And now I created this. Okay, now I skip this tool and what we'll do next is to delete this constraint tangent here. Delete and also this equal constraint here, I will delete. And now I will drag this arc here. This line here must be a horizontal line. To do that, I select this tool and I click on this line. And what I'll do next is to apply constant constraint to these two to these endpoints. So I select these two endpoints here and I make it constant and the same thing here. I select I select constraint constant. And now I will use the external projection geometry and extra this edge and this edge here I don't need. I have the horizontal edges. So now I will select the dimension tool and first I will click on this point here and now on the center point and I will create a vertical distance of 10 millimeters. These two lines here I will set a distance of 5 millimeters and it's okay. And this arc here I will set to 5 millimeters. Now I selected the constraint vertical and I make these two points here vertical. Now I go to this geometry and first here I will select the constraint tangent and make this arc tangent to this one and this line to this arc here. And now I need to make this line horizontal. So I skip this tool, I select this line here and then I click on this tool. Dimension tool and set the distance from this line here to the horizontal axis. I'll set 6 millimeters here and I will make these two arcs here equal by selecting the two arcs and now I will select the dimension tool again and set a range of 2 millimeters for these two arcs and now the thickness, the distance from this arc to this arc here I will set 10 millimeters, no I will set 8 Okay, and now I need to set the radius of this arc here. I will set 5 millimeters. No, I will set 4 millimeters. And uh, now I need to set the radius of this arc here. So I select the dimension tool. I click on this arc here and I will set, let's say, 50 millimeters. No. I will use the external projection geometry and extract this edge here. As you can see, I can't get a center point of this edge here. So what I will do is to change to construction geometries and select arc by three points. And now I will create arc here in these two points. And I will create a point here on this edge. And now I will fix this point in this arc here using the constraint constant and I have this. Now it's easy to set the location of the center point of this arc here. I will select these two center points and then make it constant and I have this. Dimension tool, now I selected this point, now this one here and I create a length of 5 millimeters. Now from this center point to this center point, I will create a distance of let's say 10 millimeters. Now I will change here to 22 millimeters. Okay, I think 22 is okay. Or I can set 20 millimeters, no problem. Now as you can see, I have two degrees of freedom here. Let me see what is missing here. So I select the dimension tool, I click on this point and now I set a distance of 12 here and I set a distance here, let's say 40 millimeters and I have this sketch full constraint. Now I close this sketch and I use the pocket tool to create the holes. I change here to frugal and symmetrical plane and now as you can see I have this. Now I press OK here and uh, next I will create a hole on this side here. To do that I will create a sketch on the XY plane. 
So I do that. I click on the create sketch icon. I select the XY plane. Now I switch to the session view and I select the create external projection geometry and I get a center point of this edge. As you can see, I have this. Now I change to normal geometries and I create a cycle on the center point. I set it to 30 millimeters and now I escape two times to leave this sketch and I select pocket tool. And now I change the type to circle and set to multiple plane. And as you can see, I have this. Now I press OK to finish this operation. And what is missing now is to create this chamfer here. So I go to the document and I select this surface here. Now this edge and this edge. Now I rotate the view of this 3D model and I select this edge and now this bottom edge here. And I select chamfer 2. And I change the size here to 2 millimeters. And as you can see, I have this. Now I press OK to finish the operation and this is the final model. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video useful, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed. And also share this video with your friends. And if you want to support the content of this channel, you can do that. Just go to the description of this video and you'll find a link to the channel's Ko-Fi page. Or you can support the channel buying the ebooks that's appearing on the screen now. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next video.